So it's Wednesday. It's it on cool down. It's news time. And boy, do we have some big, major, humongous things that we have been complaining Dude, about for a lot of time. Oh, my God. It's They're here. I can, this is this has been one of my biggest ah. gripes with with the game design in general, and uh, this is something that maybe gives me more hope than most of the stuff that we've heard so far. And this oh, is a yeah. good sign. Yeah, man, this is definitely the premise of good things to come. They are sticking to their guns when it comes to I would say commodities for all of the players, and we're gonna get into all of that with the conquest and valor cap removals and the gearing in season four. But first, twitchtv online is the place you have to be to check us out live to play World of Warcraft, but not only World of Warcraft, Flame. No, uh, because starting with next week, depending on when you see this video on Wednesdays and Thursdays, which are not usually days that we stream, we will be streaming other types of games as well, such as League of Legends. Uh, what? Or Hearthstone or what? Hearthstone doesn't really matter. <laughs> what matters is that we are or also Tetris. enjoyers of other types of games. And if you want to take a little break from WoW and watch something else, maybe watch me Chill. get the shit scared out of me in horror games or some shit like that, you can check us on Wednesdays and Thursdays on twitch.tv slash online for some variety gaming and outside of that if you haven't seen our stream yet tell them again yeah, what man, we tweet, do tweet, uh, we do uh, I'm not sure we do keys with viewers raids uh, in terms of World of Warcraft but also one other thing that will be added someday is it Thursday I think uh, MoCast live where we talk about stuff that uh, we don't generally get to in videos you know unedited unfiltered all of that and that's going to be live directly talking with you guys about different types of topics of WoW. So if you want to check that out, make sure you check twitch.tv slash online. You'll see a schedule there as well with everything that we do. Come check us out after the video. Now, let's get into it. First of all, the biggest thing that ever happened since I got into place into this world and my mama gave birth to me is the fact that we got a removal of the goddamn horrendous, frustrating, uh, fucking eye-peeling Conquest and Valor Cap. And mind you, I think we touched on this in a couple of previous on cooldown videos with how frustrating it is if you like want to do, especially when a new season starts, right? And you got like, you got to get your gear up for the new raid and dungeons or whatever, or arenas or whatnot. You push that, you do a lot of those keys or a lot of those arenas and stuff. You obviously, you work towards your great vault, but also there's the Valor points which are being used to buy your ass some gear. Granted, it is gated by rating, that's fair enough i feel that's fair but also you were capped so no matter how many dungeons you did in one week or arenas or whatever at some point and that was very very fast because remember at the beginning you have no goddamn rating and that takes a little bit of time to get 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 up there dungeons and arenas so while that was fun to play with your friends or whatever the rewards you would have to get because of those points were up i don't know maybe an item maybe two yeah. but i think maybe an item because you have to remember one other thing those valor points are also used to upgrade those said items and it was a pain uh, so here here's the deal i think it would have been fine for the cap to be there if there was no upgrading, if you would get like, you know, a, a, a decent item level gear. But since you could use those points to also upgrade your items from, let's say, lower um, keys or uh, lower rating arenas, then the cap was very, very frustrating. And man, is this like super big. They're removing this is, it. This is good. Oh boy. I this mean, is, so think about it, think about it this way. Um, the reason why the cap was in place there and the reason why there's rating in place there is to prevent people from exploiting the system and getting high level gear way faster than you could in let's say raids or arenas because you know those are arenas already rated based and raid is basically lock based they each of them have a specific a specific lockout a specific uh, wall that you have to go through and that kind of sucks but it is what it is so you don't you know over exploit the system however the valor system had two walls on it which is not particularly good and having one lifted off is good because either have the rating where we cannot just get super high eye level items really quick or or have the cap, which is, which means that you cannot have one high eye level item really quick. So now that the cap is removed, let's say you can get like a bunch of items. You can get them to all to like 240, then to 250, then to 260, then to 270, and then finally to 272. And that would be the end of it. But with the cap as well, you couldn't get that and you couldn't get a one high eye level item either because you had the rating. So I think this is good. This is, this is a, 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 this is a symptom being cleared, the symptom of, you know, 
uh, we know you like to play the game, but you have to stop playing now and come back tomorrow if you want to keep progressing. This kind of like mobile like mentality yeah, is like, yeah. come back this later for future progressions. Like, come on, dude, let us just play the game. This is the thing, man. Um, we, we were always kind of like wary of all, all the things they talked about previous to all the, the 9.2 stuff and the Dragonflight stuff. We, we were wary because they always said that, yeah, yeah we're going to change this. We're going to do that. But nothing really happened. Uh, but as up until this point, it seems that they are sticking to their guns and this change alone is addressing, I would say, one of the biggest um, fears and, and uh, roadblocks for a lot of players. I'm not talking about like super hardcore, but even like, you know, your average Joe who wants to get into some, some Mythic Plus or raiding or, or arenas and stuff. And he has a whole lot of catching up to do, right? In terms of like the gear, this is one of the best things that could ever happen. And I'm super happy. I, I honestly didn't expect it. And it came out of the blue too. It's like yesterday we just found out that, hey, we're removing the Conquest and Valor Cap for uh, the next preset. Enjoy. It's like, what? Are you well, kidding me? That's actually good because normally they do restriction removal at the end of the expansion. And you can kind of say this is the end of the expansion, although we do still have a season Florida. another patch going. Um, and I do hope that one of the main reasons that we're doing this is to actually put it out there that this is a good thing to happen. Uh, uh, f either from the beginning of the expansion or from like the, you know, the early parts and not just the end when nobody cares anymore and you can yeah. just do whatever. Because that, that kind of sucks. Like corruption vendors being unrestricted in the end of 8.3 kind of sucked that they had it there and not at the beginning of the patch and so on. And you did say that this is uh, one of the best things that could happen to the loot. And another thing that they did, which is something that they will do actually in uh, Will be implemented four. in season four, yes. yeah. This, Hell yeah. Let's, let's talk a little bit because what they're doing with the season four gearing, first of all, it's a an experiment, but it's also indicative of a change in attitude and change of mindset on how they approach loot, which uh, hopefully this is mostly their ideal is to uh, see if they can implement it further and th that they will implement it further because it's actually really good. So um, to summarize it really quick, in season four, when we have the new raids with the new bosses, the old raids with the new bosses, they're called faded now. World bosses will be faded as well. They can drop faded gear, which is basically the same gear that they have in their loot tables now, only at 285 eye level, and they will have the faded tag to it. Now, with the faded tag items, they work the same when you loot them as they do now, but you can also loot from the boss's shards. Once you get uh, a certain number of shards, you can upgrade those faded items to their heroic mythic level. Level and uh, to upgrade them to that level, you'll need the mythic heroic shards to get them going. And the uh, extra part that's good with this is the actual good part, not that the faded part, is the coins. Because with the coins, you can actually target items from a vendor, which is something that we have been saying for a long time that we have to do is like, okay, give us. Um, a steady progression towards a 100% achievable goal. Make that goal hard to achieve if necessary, but be there 100%. Eliminate some of the RNG and getting those goddamn daggers, man. I it's know, going yeah. to be actually possible is, now. Yeah, this is the thing. So we're, we're going to have like three vendors for uh, each of the raids, I would say, represented in season four. And these vendors will uh, have you purchasing from them very, I would say, high impact items from the previous tiers. It's not going to be all the items from the, the raids over there, but like the highest one. So think about the Age of Night, as Flay mentioned, or the Old Warrior Soul, or the Gavel from the Jailer. So th th there's a lot of good stuff over there. Now the catch is from this, um, you know, in order to buy these, there's, there's going to be a three uh, three chain quest where the first the first part of it is for you to kill, to have 60 kills on uh, the bosses. And mind you, you cannot do uh, LFR, normal, heroic, and mythic, the same boss. It, will, it won't count. So there's going to be 60 different kills and that would grant you one dinar okay then the next part of the quest will be 30 kills and the last one will be 10 kills so a total of three dinars will will have this and this is it you can only buy three items this is um uh as they said in the clarification uh, not a replacement for the the current gearing system you'll still be able to get drops and great vaults and all of that uh this will be just a way a deterministic way for you to get some of those items uh further down the line.
So you still have to go through the regular stuff as you always did, but this is just a nice addition. On top of that, as Flame mentioned, the shards that drop from uh, the, the bosses, and, and, and by the way, no shards of domination, okay? This, this is not yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. This is different. These are basically shards of upgrade. So you, you, you get these on a 100% drop chance, and once you get 20, you can combine them to be able to upgrade an item that you have. So let's say you, you did, uh, you have 20 shards from like a mythic run. Uh, you combine those, then you can upgrade an item to a mythic level, mythic item level, yeah. If you have done, I don't know, uh, a heroic pro in that week or, or the week prior to that, and you have an item that you want to upgrade from there, you can do it. They did say that this is not a, a sequence upgrade, so you don't have to upgrade it first from, let's say, from normal to heroic and from heroic to mythic. No, if you have an item from uh, even LFR and you have the, the upgrade shard over there, you can use that and it will be, it will be mythic um, uh, item level. Uh, the shards only drop on heroic and mythic difficulty. This is very important because you, uh, then you know it, it, the upgrades wouldn't make sense really if you yeah, have like shards. I mean, you who would upgrade to normal level, right? So that's the thing. This is this is very very good. I think both of these um, let's say packaged up systems are very very good. And once again, this is kind of like testing grounds. They're not saying that this will be carried over into Dragonflight 100 percent as is right right now for for uh, 9.2.5. Yeah, pro uh, but this is very very um, testy in the sense that they want to. Get Get, gather as much data and uh, player behavior and feedback as possible from how this works in order to move forward because let's just, just say this out loud if they kind of work this out into like a content drop period as we talked in the podcast this could be huge potential for them to get just have way more time to develop a new patch and have the players continuously doing something that feels engaging and rewarding be and the example they gave with the age of night daggers is is perfect because it right now you, you you have a lot of rogues who are like complaining that they don't have the daggers and they do a lot more dps with those but they cannot really go back not not a lot of people still do those unless they're like in super dedicated guild i'm talking about previous rates yeah so this will be a very good option even moving forward because you're gonna have i'm sure you're gonna have like super cool items in dragonflight where you would well, hopefully yeah yeah you you would have something that could last like for the whole of the expansion and this would be very good also to preserve that right because if it's a really cool item and you cannot use it in the next patch because it's lower item level or you know it's just not simming anymore or whatever this is a very very cool way to just That's, keep on keeping on it's a good point and i think um uh, there's there's two <laughs> main size of this coin and you've explained uh, one of them really really nicely and also the fact that it's only three items i initially didn't know what to think about it but then you know it alleviates the the, the stress of like okay i need to like get as many as i can also oh, yeah. it's about you know the whole this whole the item level the item pool rather is basically the same reason as why i as a pro warrior now i'm using the old warrior soul from heroic sylvanas now in sepulcher because it's still, it's, it's still better this, than yeah. pretty much any other trinket that can drop right now for me for sure. and that's the, the edge of night dagger is the same for sub rogues in single target it's still ideal to have one in offhand and uh there's probably i don't know if people still use jathis but th that's the example of like cool items making it and you don't need to like fully equip yourself from old gear it's not about that so having this type and also like you mentioned it's content for content drought bringing up all raids that's interesting the other side of the coin that i really wanted to point out is something that i hope it actually integrates in the core systems in the core loot of the game and that is to actually aim or to have a way to aim for the item that you want because the vault was essentially added into the game to kind of offset the bad RNG or the low RNG of items being dropped in dungeons and in raids and also having one item that's good among like 15 that you don't need. Yeah. Uh, the vault doesn't solve that problem. It kind of alleviates it to, I don't know, 20, 30 percent ish, something like that. But having vendors for a, a specific set of items, it can either be for all of them or specific set of items, yeah. does help the players like, OK, listen, I can get the 278 daggers or whatever, but I really Really want that edge of nine man it's like all right i'm gonna have to do this way for like three months or however long or like three weeks or however long it lasts and i am going to get that dagger no matter what i do i am going to get it it's gonna take a long time but that's one item that i need there's only like one or two really really bis items for most specs oh for sure yeah and this is this tackles another problem as well it's like me for example i i really don't want to to go in sylvanas again and i i didn't really like that fight at all and i'm kind of exhausted of it and in order for me to get edge of night on my 
Rogue, I have to do it, right? And even in Season 4, I have to do it, get a chance to drop. Well, with this system in place, if, you know, I don't want to do it, but, you know, just do the regular other bosses and whatever and you know, catch up on my uh, uh, dinars, the dinars mm -hmm. uh, I can target that, no problem, and I don't have to do it if I don't like it. This is another topic of discussion of Season 4 because a lot of people feel like, man, but I already did this. Uh, some of these fights I really didn't enjoy, and that's fair. I think this, this system alone, if you, like, really want to get a specific item from a boss you didn't necessarily like or got really fed up uh, from it this is another good way to alleviate that so it's a win man it's it's a win it's, in it's, it's all departments thing. this yep. and again people have to understand this is testing grounds this is basically 9.2.5 is like a live ptr where if this works out properly it, even the fuck ups right and they, they gather all of this and they implement it for future things to happen down the road it's a very good win i'm not sure if they're gonna keep the conquest Pro and valor cap uh, removal for dragonfly it would yes. be nice and i hope they do and find a way to to not create the generate gameplay and all of that bullshit they can, they can definitely implement something like rating to be a yeah. little bit more restrictive but remove the cap so you cannot get like max high level really quick but you can uh, at least hoard the resources so when the cap is essentially removed or when the rating is done you can actually gain all the items but again we'll see this is basically the feedback that we have this is how we see things obviously everybody has their own opinions people can give feedback and they do on forums all the time where actually most of the communication seems to be happening these days which is amazing but yeah it's really cool that they're doing this very ballsy i would say uh testing on live oh, yeah. like it's like not ptr i mean sure you have the ptr but it's not going to be uh, no, it's a 0.5 patch and yeah, it's it, not it, going to last for a long time. On also, yeah, season four will last a lot shorter than previous seasons as we are accustomed to them. So yeah. that also kind of underlines the fact that, okay, it's not something that you have to like fully commit. It's there more just to like see how the things could develop for the future. And the future is looking bright because of our Patreons. You know, you know who you are. You uh, know, we you. love you. You know, thank you're supporting you. all this beautiful and consistent content and quality and all of that. And you're part Appreciate of it. it. You're responsible for it. You are. So you, you are supporting the channel. You're yeah. Supporting all the content that we do, you're supporting the on cooldown pieces that we're doing right now. You're supporting the class guys. You're supporting the TLFs. You're supporting the podcast. You're supporting the streams. Ah! How? <laughs> Which are you not supporting? And you are making a lot of this possible. So we thank you. And dear viewer, if you want to be a part of the team and you want to you know, give a little bit and help us make better, better content Look. all the time, you can check the link down below. There it is. And uh, there's some tears there. There's some goodies. Maybe something for you. Maybe you'll like it. Who knows? You can check it out, and you'll only know after you check it out because that's how it works. Check, 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 check it out. Thank you for watching the video let us know what you think in the comments we'll see you very very soon on the next one bye bye, bye. Ciao. I've been loving it then, I still love it now. Still, I play wow. Still, I play wow. Getting better every day, let me show you how. Cause still, I play wow. Still, I play wow. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day, it's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play. Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow. Still, I play wow.